Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video. I hope you're all keeping well and today I'm going to be showing you three insanely tasty low calorie high protein meals that come to a total of 1200 calories and no, I am not saying that you need to consume 1200 calories every day to lose weight. In fact, I would say 99% of the people watching this don't. But what I want to show you is that even if you are following a low calorie diet, you don't need to eat shitty chicken, broccoli and rice all day every day and instead once you know what you are doing with the foods that you are eating you can eat some delicious low calorie high protein meals so yeah you are gonna be mind blown by how good these meals are especially the last one the last one is delicious um but yeah let's get straight into it and start with the first one. Oh, one more thing if you have not hit that subscribe button make sure you do now i literally do videos like this all of the time so you will not regret it okay let's get this show on the road with the best egg based recipe you will ever make and i'm gonna start by cracking two whole eggs into a bowl like so i'm gonna add in 60 ml of egg whites from bulk a bulk link in the description i'm gonna add in 40 grams of low fat cottage cheese which doesn't look that appealing but trust me it's a game changer in this then i'm gonna blend this in a blender in three two one there we go i hope that transition was good all right next up I'm gonna get this egg mix on the pan. The pan is on a medium heat. Then I am going to continue to swirl it around like so. Okay, we are looking good. I'm gonna get 15 grams of low fat cheese on top like so. And then what I'm gonna do is fold it in like so. So, then what I'm gonna do is serve it up on two slices of 60 calorie bread that I've toasted. And for the finishing touches, let's get some salt on there, a little bit of black pepper, and some chili flakes for a bit of a spice. Okay, so two quick announcements before I go to my next meal. These will take a total of 30 seconds, but announcement number one is that there is a massive end of year sale on the J Clark Fitness Nutrition Hub. So if you use the code nutrition20 at the checkout, you will get 20% off. I will leave the link to the nutrition hub in the comment section below it will be the pin comment at the top and announcement number two is that i'm taking on a handful of one-to-one -one, uh, online coaching clients to get started in the new year so if you want to get started with me at the beginning of january you will need to get in touch now so what i'm going to do is leave the link to my coaching application form in the comment section below beside uh, the link to the nutrition hub take a few minutes to fill it out i will get in touch uh, and we can take it from there all right so this next recipe is one that when most people are on lower calories, they immediately think that I cannot have that. It's off limits, it's too calorie dense. And honestly, for the most part it is, but I have made a couple of tweaks to this recipe. So if you wanted to have it every single day, you could. Okay, so I'm gonna start by preparing the sauce and I'm gonna add 75 grams of low fat cottage cheese to a bowl. Low fat cottage cheese is so underrated as a protein source. Next in, we have 20 grams of light or lightest Philadelphia, whatever you have. And this is just low fat soft cheese. I'm gonna add in five grams of French's classic yellow mustard and then some seasoning. So some salt, some black pepper, some garlic, and some cheese seasoning. You can use the cheese seasoning in the mac and cheese packets if you want. This is the one I have here. I got it on Amazon and it is delicious. Then what I'm gonna do is mix that all together. I'm actually gonna add about 20 ml of water in there and I'm gonna keep mixing. Okay, so this is how we are looking and now I am going to blend it so there are no lumps. Okay, we are looking good, nice and clump free. If you find that there are a few more clumps than you want, then you can always just add a bit more water. Okay. Okay, so enough sauce for now, let's move on to the protein and I have 150 grams of chicken breast on the pan. I'm gonna season that with some salt, some garlic, some black pepper and the holy grail, some smoked paprika. And as the chicken is cooking away, I'm gonna cook 50 grams of macaroni in some salted water. Oh, and I've also added about 50 grams of spinach leaves to the chicken. All right, everything is good to go. Let's add the macaroni into the chicken and spinach. Then I'm gonna get Get my mac and cheese sauce in there absolutely delicious and now I mix everything together like so and seeing as I like my sauce nice and thick I'm gonna let this simmer away for a couple of minutes Okay, 
Okay, so what are we saying about this mac and cheese? Absolutely unreal. And seeing as it's so calorie friendly, you could probably afford to add something onto this meal. So for example, you could have a slice of garlic bread for like 90 or 100 calories, or if you wanted to add a bit more volume to the meal, um, you could have a side of veg, like a side of broccoli, a side of whatever you want really. I think it'd be rude not to give it a taste test. So, so good. All right, so this baby just arrived in the door. Probably would have been better if it arrived this morning so I could actually use it for today's video. But as a lot of you maybe know, I use the Ninja Blender. I highly recommend it, to be honest. Uh, it's so big, it's so powerful. It's great if you are making big, voluminous recipes in it, like protein ice cream, for example. But for the smaller things, like if you're blending up eggs or some oats or even making a sauce for just one or two people, uh, the Ninja Blender, it's quite big it's quite bulky to be honest you just don't want to take it out it involves quite a lot of cleaning as well so that is where this baby will come in handy it is much smaller it's going to look much better on the counter as well uh, so yeah, I'm excited to use it. Alright, so let's go to the final meal of the day. If you have a sweet tooth like myself, then this could arguably be the best meal of the day as well. But I'll let you decide. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to start by crushing two of these Weetabix in a bowl like so. I'm going to add in 90 ml of skimmed milk. I've made something similar to this before, but wait until you see the changes that I make. They are unreal. Let's give it a mix like so. Okay, so this is how we are looking. Then I'm going to set that to one side. I'm gonna add 120 grams of vanilla whey protein to another bowl that is followed by 15 grams of vanilla whey protein from bulk I'm gonna give that a, a good mix then I'm gonna pour that over my Weetabix like so I'm gonna make sure it is nice and even then I'm gonna prepare my third and final layer So I'm gonna add 15 grams of powdered peanut butter to one glass followed by 30 ml of zero calorie maple syrup from bulk I am gonna give that a good mix then I'm gonna add 15 grams of cacao powder Powder to another glass. This is great for fiber. I'm gonna add 40 ml of skimmed milk, one teaspoon of sweetener. I personally really, really like stevia, and then I'm gonna give that a mix. And now let's add the chocolate to the top, like so. Just little plops everywhere. And that is followed by the peanut butter. And I kind of like to spread everything around just a little bit. And then you have a couple of different options. So if you want, you can eat it there and then. It tastes amazing, and that's how handy if you are preparing it in the evening time and you want it in the evening time as well as a bit of a sweet treat before you go to bed or you can leave it in the fridge overnight and have it the following morning whether that's sitting at the kitchen table or you know you can bring it to work or school or whatever you want. Okay, I am a massive, massive fan of that overnight Weetabix recipe. As I said, it does not have to be overnight. It tastes unbelievable either way. Make sure to give it a go. And that is just another example of how you can make just a couple of food swaps and get a really low calorie tasty meal as a result. So for example, instead of using Nutella, I used uh, cacao powder and sweetener. Instead of using peanut butter, I used powdered peanut butter. Instead of using normal maple syrup, I used zero calorie maple syrup. And the same goes for the other meals as well. I made my own low calorie sauce for the mac and cheese. I used some egg whites instead of using uh, three eggs in the spicy egg meal. So when you're on lower calories, it really, really helps to think this way. It doesn't have to take over your meal. Not every food has to be a food swap, but if you make a few per day, it will help you a lot. We are gonna wrap the video up there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and let me know. If you have not hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so now. I would massively appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all keeping well, and I will see you in the next video.